The Kushan Empire Ancient Greek, Basileia Kossanan Bactrian, Kaisano Kushano, Kusana Samrajya, BHS, Gusana Vamsa Chinese, Gui Shuang Di Guo Parthian, Kuzan Exa Theta R was a syncretic empire, formed by the Yuzi, in the Bactrian territories in the early 1st century. It spread to encompass much of Afghanistan, and then the northern parts of the Indian subcontinent at least as far as Sakheda and Sarnath near Varanasi Benares, where inscriptions have been found dating to the era of the Kushan Emperor Kanishka the Great. Emperor Kanishka was a great patron of Buddhism. He played an important role in the establishment of Buddhism in the Indian subcontinent and its spread to Central Asia and China. The Kushans were one of five branches of the Yuzi Confederation, a possibly Iranic or Tocharian, Indo-European nomadic people who migrated from Gansu and settled in ancient Bactria. The Kushans possibly used the Greek language initially for administrative purposes, but soon began to use Bactrian language. Kanishka sent his armies north of the Karakoram Mountains, capturing territories as far as Kashgar, Khotan and Yarkant, in the Tarim Basin of modern-day Xinjiang, China. A direct road from Gandhara to China remained under Kushan control for more than a century, encouraging travel across the Karakoram and facilitating the spread of Mahayana Buddhism to China. The Kushan dynasty had diplomatic contacts with the Roman Empire, Sasanian Persia, the Aksumite Empire and Han dynasty of China. While much philosophy, art, and science was created within its borders, the only textual record of the empire's history today comes from inscriptions and accounts in other languages, particularly Chinese. The Kushan Empire fragmented into semi independent kingdoms in the 3rd century AD, which fell to the Sasanians invading from the west, establishing the Kushano Sasanian kingdom in the areas of Sogdiana, Bactria, and Gandhara. In the 4th century, the Guptas, an Indian dynasty, also pressed from the east. The last of the Kushan and Kushano Sasanian kingdoms were eventually overwhelmed by invaders from the north, known as the Kitarites, and then the Hephthalites. Origins Chinese sources describe the Guishang, Gui Shuang i.e. the Kushans, as one of the five aristocratic tribes of the Yuzi, with some people claiming they were a loose confederation of Indo-European peoples, though many scholars are still unconvinced that they originally spoke an Indo-European language. As the historian John E. Hill has put it, for well over a century, there have been many arguments about the ethnic and linguistic origins of the great Yuzi or Da Yuzi, Da Yu Shi Kushans, Gui Shuang and the Tachiri, and still there is little consensus. The Yuzi were described in the records of the great historian Shi Ji and the Book of Han Han Shu as living in the grasslands of Gansu, in the northwest of modern-day China, until their king was beheaded by the Huns from Siberia the Zongnu Shangnu, who were also at war with China, which eventually forced them to migrate west in 176–160 BCE. The five tribes constituting the Yuzi are known in Chinese history as Ziumi, Shumi Guishang, Gui Shuang Shangmi, Shuangmi Zidan, Shi Dun and Dumi. The Yuzi reached the Hellenic Kingdom of Greco-Bactria in northern Afghanistan and Uzbekistan around 135 BC. The displaced Greek dynasties resettled to the southeast in areas of the Hindu Kush and the Indus Basin in present-day Afghanistan and Pakistan, occupying the western part of the Indo-Greek Kingdom. <laughs> Early Kushans Some traces remain of the presence of the Kushans in the area of Bactria and Sogdiana. Archaeological structures are known in Takht i Sangin, Sirk Kotal, a monumental temple, and in the palace of Kalchayan. Various sculptures and friezes are known, representing horse riding archers, and, significantly, men with artificially deformed skulls, such as the Kushan prince of Kalchayan, a practice well attested in nomadic Central Asia. The Chinese first referred to these people as the Yuzi and said they established the Kushan Empire, although the relationship between the Yuzi and the Kushans is still unclear. On the ruins of ancient Hellenistic cities such as I Khanum, the Kushans are known to have built fortresses. The earliest documented ruler, and the first one to proclaim himself as a Kushan ruler, was Herios. He calls himself a tyrant in Greek on his coins, and also exhibits skull deformation. He may have been an ally of the Greeks, and he shared the same style of coinage. Herios may have been the father of the first Kushan emperor Kuhula Kadphises. Ban Gu's Book of Han tells us the Kushans divided up Bactria in 128 BC. 
Fan Yi's Book of the Later Han, relates how the chief of the Kushans, Chiu Shu Shiwa, the Kuhula Kadfizes of Coins, founded by means of the submission of the other Yu Chi clans the Kushan Empire, known to the Greeks and Romans under the name of Empire of the Indo Scythians. The Chinese Hu Hanshu Hu Han Shu Chronicles gives an account of the formation of the Kushan Empire based on a report made by the Chinese general Ban Yang to the Chinese Emperor C. 125 AD. More than a hundred years later than the conquest of Bactria by the Da Yuzi, the prince of Guishang Badakshan established himself as king, and his dynasty was called that of the Guishang Kushan king. He invaded Anxi Indo Parthia, and took the Gaofu Kabul region. He also defeated the whole of the kingdoms of Puta Paktia, and Jibin Kapisha and Gandhara. Chujiuk was more than 80 years old when he died. His son, Yangaozhen probably Vemathk II, or, possibly, his brother Sadaskana, became king in his place. He defeated Tianzhu northwestern India and installed generals to supervise and lead it. The Yuzi then became extremely rich. All the kingdoms call their king the Guishang Kushan king, but the Han call them by their original name, Da Yuzi. Topic. Diverse cultural influences In the 1st century BCE, the Guishang ch. Gui Shuang gained prominence over the other Yuzi tribes, and welded them into a tight confederation under Yabgu commander Kuhula Kadfizes. The name Guishang was adopted in the West and modified into Kushan to designate the confederation, although the Chinese continued to call them Yuzi. Gradually wresting control of the area from the Scythian tribes, the Kushans expanded south into the region traditionally known as Gandhara an area primarily in Pakistan's Pothauer and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa region but going in an arc to include the Kabul Valley and part of Kandahar in Afghanistan and established twin capitals in Bagram and Peshawar, then known as Kapiza and Pushklavati respectively. The Kushans adopted elements of the Hellenistic culture of Bactria. They adopted the Greek alphabet to suit their own language with the additional development of the letter shish, as in Kushan, and soon began minting coinage on the Greek model. On their coins they used Greek language legends combined with Pali legends in the Karoshthi script, until the first few years of the reign of Kanishka. After that date, they used Kushan language legends in an adapted Greek script, combined with legends in Greek, Greek script and legends in Prakrit Karoshthi script. The Kushans adopted many local beliefs and customs, including Zoroastrianism and the two rising religions in the region, the Greek cults and Buddhism." From the time of Vima Takto, many Kushans started adopting aspects of Buddhist culture, and like the Egyptians, they absorbed the strong remnants of the Greek culture of the Hellenistic kingdoms, becoming at least partly Hellenized. The great Kushan emperor Vima Kadphises may have embraced Shaivism a sect of Hinduism, as surmised by coins minted during the period. The following Kushan emperors represented a wide variety of faiths including Buddhism, Zoroastrianism and Shaivism. The rule of the Kushans linked the seagoing trade of the Indian Ocean with the commerce of the Silk Road through the long civilized Indus Valley. At the height of the dynasty, the Kushans loosely ruled a territory that extended to the Aral Sea through present-day Uzbekistan, Afghanistan, and Pakistan into northern India. The loose unity and comparative peace of such a vast expanse encouraged long-distance trade, brought Chinese silks to Rome, and created strings of flourishing urban centers. Territorial expansion Rosenfield notes that archaeological evidence of a Kushan rule of long duration is present in an area stretching from Sirk Kotal, Bagram, the summer capital of the Kushans, Peshawar, the capital under Kanishka I, Taxila, and Mathura, the winter capital of the Kushans. Other areas of probable rule include Khwarezm, Kasambi, excavations of Allahabad University, Sanchi and Sarnath, inscriptions with names and dates of Kushan kings, Malwa and Maharashtra, and Odisha, imitation of Kushan coins, and large Kushan hordes. Kushan invasions in the 1st century CE had been given as an explanation for the migration of Indians from the Indian subcontinent toward Southeast Asia according to proponents of a Greater India theory by 20th-century Indian nationalists. 
However, there is no evidence to support this hypothesis. The recently discovered Rabatak inscription confirms the account of the Hu Hanshu, Wailu, and inscriptions dated early in the Kanishka era, except probably 127 CE, that large Kushan dominions expanded into the heartland of northern India in the early 2nd century CE. Lines 4 to 7 of the inscription describe the cities which were under the rule of Kanishka, among which six names are identifiable Ujjain, Kundina, Saketa, Kasambi, Pataliputra, and Champa, although the text is not clear whether Champa was a possession of Kanishka or just beyond it. The Kushan state was bounded to the south by the Paratha state of Baluchistan, western Pakistan, Afghanistan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, and Turkmenistan. Turkmenistan was known for the Kushan Buddhist city of Merv. As late as the 3rd century AD, decorated coins of Huvishka were dedicated at Bodh Gaya together with other gold offerings under the Enlightenment Throne of the Buddha, suggesting direct Kushan influence in the area during that period. Northward, in the 2nd century AD, the Kushans under Kanishka made various forays into the Tarim Basin, where they had various contacts with the Chinese. Both archaeological findings and literary evidence suggest Kushan rule, in Kashgar, Yarkand, and Khotan. <laughs> Main Kushan rulers <laughs> Kuhula Kadphises c. 30 c. 80 Dot the prince Elevor of Guishang, named Thilak Kuhula Kadphises, attacked and exterminated the four other Zaihou. He established himself as king, and his dynasty was called that of the Guishang Kushan king. He invaded Anxi Indo and took the Gaofu Kabul region. He also defeated the whole of the kingdoms of Puda Paktia and Jiban Kapisha and Gandhara. Chujiu Kuhula Kadphises was more than 80 years old when he died. These conquests probably took place sometime between 45 and 60 and laid the basis for the Kushan Empire which was rapidly expanded by his descendants. Kuhula issued an extensive series of coins and fathered at least two sons, Sadaskana who is known from only two inscriptions, especially the Rabatak inscription, and apparently never ruled, and seemingly Vima Takto. Kuhula Kadphises was the great-grandfather of Kanishka. Topic. Vima Taktu or Sadashkana c. 80 c. 95 Vima Taktu ancient Chinese, Yan Gao Zhen Yan Gao Zhen is mentioned in the Rabatak inscription another son, Sadashkana, is mentioned in an inscription of Senevarman, the king of Odi. He was the predecessor of Vima Kadphises, and Kanishka I he expanded the Kushan Empire into the northwest of South Asia. The Hu Hanshu says. His son, Yangaozhen, probably Vematahk, too, or, possibly, his brother Sadaskana, became king in his place. He defeated Tianzhu northwestern India and installed generals to supervise and lead it. The Yuzi then became extremely rich. All the kingdoms call their king the Guishang Kushan king, but the Han call them by their original name, Da Yuzi. Topic. Vima Kadphises c. 95 c. 127 Vima Kadphises Kushan language, Umo Kadphises was a Kushan emperor from around 90–100 CE, the son of Sadashkana and the grandson of Kuhula Kadphises, and the father of Kanishka I, as detailed by the Rabatak inscription. Vima Kadphises added to the Kushan territory by his conquests in Afghanistan and northwest Pakistan. He issued an extensive series of coins and inscriptions. He issued gold coins in addition to the existing copper and silver coinage. Topic: <laughs> Kanishka the 1st c. 127 c. 140. The rule of Kanishka the Great, 5th Kushan king, lasted for about 13 years from c. 127 Upon his accession, Kanishka ruled a huge territory virtually all of northern India, south to Ujjain and Kundina and east beyond Pataliputra, according to the Rabatak inscription 
In the year 1, it has been proclaimed unto India, unto the whole realm of the governing class, including Kunadino Kaundini, Kundina, and the city of Ozino Ozine, Ujain, and the city of Zagata Sakata, and the city of Kozambo Kasambi, and the city of Palabatro Pataliputra, and so long unto i.e., as far as the city of Ziri Tambo Shri Champa. His territory was administered from two capitals, Purushapura now Peshawar in northwestern Pakistan and Mathura, in northern India. He is also credited along with Raja Dab for building the massive, ancient fort at Batinda Kila Mubarak, in the modern city of Batinda, Indian Punjab. The Kushans also had a summer capital in Bagram then known as Kapisa, where the Bagram treasure, comprising works of art from Greece to China, has been found. According to the Rabatak inscription, Kanishka was the son of Vima Kadphises, the grandson of Sadashkana, and the great-grandson of Kuhula Kadphises. Kanishka's era is now generally accepted to have begun in 127 on the basis of Harry Falk's groundbreaking research. Kanishka's era was used as a calendar reference by the Kushans for about a century, until the decline of the Kushan realm. Vasishka <laughs> 140 c. 160. Vasishka was a Kushan emperor who seems to have had a 20-year reign following Kanishka. His rule is recorded as far south as Sanchi near Vidisa, where several inscriptions in his name have been found, dated to the year 22 the Sanchi inscription of Vaksushana, i.e., Vasishka Kushana and year 28 the Sanchi inscription of Vasaska, i.e., Vasishka of the Kanishka era. Equals 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 Huvishka C 160 C 190 equals 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 Huvishka Kushan Uishki was a Kushan emperor from about 20 years after the death of Kanishka, assumed on the best evidence available to be in 140 until the succession of Vasudeva the first about 30 years later. His rule was a period of retrenchment and consolidation for the empire. In particular he devoted time and effort early in his reign to the exertion of greater control over the city of Mathura. <inaudible> Vasudeva I c. 190 c. 230 Vasudeva I Kushan, Bazidio, Chinese, Bodiao, was the last of the great Kushans. Named inscriptions dating from year 64 to 98 of Kanishka's era suggest his reign extended from at least 191 to 225 AD. He was the last great Kushan emperor, and the end of his rule coincides with the invasion of the Sasanians as far as northwestern India, and the establishment of the Indo-Sasanians or Kushanches in what is nowadays Afghanistan, Pakistan and northwestern India from around 240 AD. Kushan deities The Kushan religious pantheon is extremely varied, as revealed by their coins that were made in gold, silver, and copper. These coins contained more than 30 different gods, belonging mainly to their own Iranic, Greek, and Indo-Aryan worlds as well. Kushan coins had images of Kushan kings, Buddha, and figures from the Indo-Aryan and Iranian pantheons. Greek deities, with Greek names are represented on early coins. During Kanishka's reign, the language of the coinage changes to Bactrian though it remained in Greek script for all kings. After Huvishka, only two divinities appear on the coins, Ardox Sho and Osho see details below. The Iranic entities depicted on coinage include Arctic Thorn Omicron Ardox Sho, Ashi Vanguhi A Thorn Aik O Ashaix Sho, Asha Vahishta Ath Thorn Omicron Ath Sho, Ader Pharaoh Pharaoh, Quarena Ruaspo Ruaspa, Drivaspa Manaabago Manaabago, Vohu Mana Mao Mao, Ma Mithro Miero Mioro Mioro Mithro and Variants, Mithra Mazdaoano Mazdaoano, Mazda Asterisk Vana, Mazda the Victorious? Nana Nanaya Nanaseo Variations of Pan Asiatic Nana, Sogdian Nny, Nana Odo Odo Vada O Alpha Zo Oaks Show Oxus. U ro o mu o zadu oramazdo, ahora mazda orologno orlano, verithrogna tiero tiero, tir representation of entities from Greek mythology and Hellenistic syncretism art 
Helios Helios, Hephaestos Hephaestos, Selene Selene, Animos Animos. Further, the coins of Huvishka also portray the demi-god Erikilo Heracles, and the Egyptian god Serapo Serapis. The Indic entities represented on coinage include Bado Bado, Buddha Metrago Bado Metrago Bado, Bodhisattva Maitreya M. Asano Masano, Mahasina Skanda O Komar O Skando Kamaro, Skanda Kumara Thorn Akamano Bado Shakamano Bado, Shakamuni Buddha Iso Osho, long considered to represent Indic Shiva, but also identified as a Vestan Vayu conflated with Shiva. Two copper coins of Huvishka bear a Ganesha legend, but instead of depicting the typical theriomorphic figure of Ganesha, have a figure of an archer holding a full-length bow with string inwards and an arrow. This is typically a depiction of Rudra, but in the case of these two coins is generally assumed to represent Shiva. Kushans and Buddhism The Kushans inherited the Greco-Buddhist traditions of the Indo-Greek kingdom they replaced, and their patronage of Buddhist institutions allowed them to grow as a commercial power. Between the mid-1st century and the mid-3rd century, Buddhism, patronized by the Kushans, extended to China and other Asian countries through the Silk Road. Kanishka is renowned in Buddhist tradition for having convened a great Buddhist council in Kashmir. Along with his predecessors in the region, the Indo-Greek king Menander I Melinda and the Indian emperors Ashoka and Harsha Vardhana, Kanishka is considered by Buddhism as one of its greatest benefactors. During the 1st century AD, Buddhist books were being produced and carried by monks, and their trader patrons. Also, monasteries were being established along these land routes that went from China and other parts of Asia. With the development of Buddhist books, it caused a new written language called Gandhara. Gandhara consists of eastern Afghanistan and northern Pakistan. Scholars are said to have found many Buddhist scrolls that contained the Gandhari language. The reign of Huvishka corresponds to the first known epigraphic evidence of the Buddha Amitabha, on the bottom part of a 2nd century statue which has been found in Govindo Nagar, and now at the Mathura Museum. The statue is dated to the 28th year of the reign of Huvishka and dedicated to Amitabha Buddha by a family of merchants. There is also some evidence that Huvishka himself was a follower of Mahayana Buddhism. A Sanskrit manuscript fragment in the Shoyan collection describes Huvishka as one who has set forth in the Mahayana. Topic: <laughs> Kushan art. The art and culture of Gandhara at the crossroads of the Kushan hegemony continued the traditions of Greco-Buddhist art and are the best known expressions of Kushan influences to westerners. Several direct depictions of Kushans are known from Gandhara where they are represented with a tunic, belt and trousers and play the role of devotees to the Buddha as well as the Bodhisattva and future Buddha Maitreya. During the Kushan Empire, many images of Gandhara share a strong resemblance to the features of Greek, Syrian, Persian and Indian figures. These western-looking stylistic signatures often include heavy drapery and curly hair, representing a composite the Greeks, for example, often possessed curly hair. In the iconography, they are never associated however with the very Hellenistic, standing Buddha, statues, which might therefore correspond to an earlier historical period. Topic. Contacts with Rome Several Roman sources describe the visit of ambassadors from the kings of Bactria and India during the 2nd century, probably referring to the Kushans. Historia Augusta, speaking of Emperor Hadrian 117-138 tells Regs Bactrianorum legatos ad eum, amicitia petende causa, supplices miserunt. The kings of the Bactrians sent supplicant ambassadors to him, to seek his friendship." Also in 138, according to Aurelius Victor Epitome 15, 4, and Appian Pref, 7, Antoninus Pius, successor to Hadrian, received some Indian, Bactrian, and Hyrcanian ambassadors. Precious things from Da Qin the Roman Empire can be found there in Tianzhou or northwestern India, as well as fine cotton cloths, fine wool carpets, perfumes of all sorts, sugar candy, pepper, ginger, and black salt. 
The summer capital of the Kushan Empire in Bagram has yielded a considerable amount of goods imported from the Roman Empire in particular, various types of glassware. Topic. Contacts with China During the 1st and 2nd century, the Kushan Empire expanded militarily to the north and occupied parts of the Tarim Basin, their original grounds, putting them at the center of the profitable Central Asian commerce with the Roman Empire. They are related to have collaborated militarily with the Chinese against nomadic incursion, particularly when they collaborated with the Han Dynasty general Ban Chao against the Sogdians in 84, when the latter were trying to support a revolt by the king of Kashgar. Around 85, they also assisted the Chinese general in an attack on Turpin, east of the Tarim Basin. In recognition for their support to the Chinese, the Kushans requested a Han princess, but were denied, even after they had sent presents to the Chinese court. In retaliation, they marched on Ban Chao in 86 with a force of 70,000, but were defeated by a smaller Chinese force. The Yuzi retreated and paid tribute to the Chinese Empire during the reign of Emperor He of Han 89 Later, around 116, the Kushans under Kanishka established a kingdom centered on Kashgar, also taking control of Khotan and Yarkand, which were Chinese dependencies in the Tarim Basin, modern Xinjiang. They introduced the Brahmi script, the Indian Prakrit language for administration, and expanded the influence of Greco-Buddhist art which developed into Serindian art. The Kushans are again recorded to have sent presents to the Chinese court in 158–159 during the reign of Emperor Huan of Han. Following these interactions, cultural exchanges further increased, and Kushan Buddhist missionaries, such as Lokaksima, became active in the Chinese capital cities of Luoyang and sometimes Nanjing, where they particularly distinguished themselves by their translation work. They were the first recorded promoters of Hinayana and Mahayana scriptures in China, greatly contributing to the Silk Road transmission of Buddhism. Topic. Decline. After the death of Vasudeva I in 225, the Kushan Empire split into western and eastern halves. The western Kushans in Afghanistan were soon subjugated by the Persian Sasanian Empire and lost Sogdiana, Bactria, and Gandhara to them. The Sasanians deposed the western dynasty and replaced them with Persian vassals known as the Kushanches also called Indo-Sasanians or Kushano-Sasanians. The eastern Kushan kingdom was based in the Punjab. Around 270 their territories on the Gangetic Plain became independent under local dynasties such as the Yadhayas. Then in the mid-4th century they were subjugated by the Gupta Empire under Samudragupta. In 360 a Kittarite Hun named Kadara overthrew the Indo-Sasanians and remnants of the old Kushan dynasty, and established the Kittarite Kingdom. The Kushan style of Kittarite coins indicates they claimed Kushan heritage. The Kittarites seem to have been rather prosperous, although on a smaller scale than their Kushan predecessors. These remnants of the Kushan Empire were ultimately wiped out in the 5th century by the invasions of the Hephthalites, the Alchon Huns and the Nezik Huns in the northwest, and the rise of the Gupta Empire in the east. <laughs> Rulers Harios c. 1 to 30, first Kushan ruler. Generally, Kushan ruling period is disputed. Kuhula Kadphises c. 30 c. 80. Vima Takto c. 80 c. 95, alias Soter Megas or Great Savior. Vima Kadphises c. 95 c. 127, the first Great Kushan Emperor. Kanishka the Great, 127 c. 140. Vasishka c. 140 c. 160 Huvishka c. 160 c. 190 Vasudeva the first c. 190 to at least 230, the last of the great Kushan emperors Kanishka the second c. 230 to 240 Vashishka c. 240 to 250 Kanishka the third c. 250 to 275 Vasudeva the 2nd c 275 to 310 Vasudeva the 3rd reported son of Vasudeva the 2nd a king uncertain Vasudeva the 4th reported possible child of Vasudeva the 3rd ruling in Kandahar uncertain 
Vasudeva V, or Vasudeva of Kabul, reported possible child of Vasudeva IV, ruling in Kabul, uncertain. Chhu c. 310. 325 Shaka I c. 325 to 345 Kipanada c. 345 to 375 Topic See also Ancient history of Afghanistan Indo-Parthian kingdom Kucha another Tocharian speaking kingdom with a related etymology History of Pakistan Mathura Taxila Topic Notes Topic References Topic Further reading Topic External links Kushan Dynasty in Encyclopædia Britannica Metropolitan Museum Capsule History New documents help fix controversial Kushan dating at the Wayback Machine archived the 4th of February 2005 Coins of the Kushans on Wild Winds com Antique Indian Coins at the Library of Congress Web Archives archived the 7th of February 2013 Brief Guide to Kushan History the CoinIndia online catalogue of Kushan coins Dedicated resource to study of Kushan Empire Template, Kushan Empire